The backflush function performs the standard CISPRO inventory movement of backflushing. This transaction will bring a finished item into inventory and backflush out the appropriate material components and standard labor according to the bill of materials defined in CISPRO. This function is sometimes used as part of a lean manufacturing process. Begin by touching the backflush icon. Scan or enter the warehouse and bin, if you are using multiple bins, into which the finished items will be received. Scan or enter the stock code of the finished item and then enter the quantity you are receiving into inventory. The reference and note fields are standard CISPRO fields and you can set default responses for them as I have illustrated here. You can also choose whether the backflush function will issue all of the component materials or just those from the first level. Touch the options menu and select backflush level. Then select the appropriate option. You can set a default choice for this option using the WriteScan administration tool. Touch post to complete the transaction and when the post successful message appears, the finished items have been received into inventory and the appropriate materials and standard labor have been issued. You should also review the WriteScan administration tool for other settings that impact the backflush function. This concludes the demonstration of the backflush function. For more information, we encourage you to view the other WriteScan video demonstrations available on this website.